And all I know is I know his number. So let's uh, welcome to the program our good guy, Yuli Diaz. Yuli, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's BKFC 26 next Friday. There you go. See, there you go. 20, 26. Hey, I, I can't rely on Matt. <laughs> Yuli, I can't count that high. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was out of my level. The, the co-co-co-co-host of the show, <laughs> he had one job. Find out what number next week's bare knuckle was. Uh, first and foremost, how are you guys doing? How's, how's life? Uh, we'll talk about the fight in a second, but just how's everything going? Man, life is great. Just, uh, you know, just training every day and getting ready. Staying ready. So uh, next week you're fighting for uh, for a title, for a belt. My question is, uh, Carla, when she won the UFC belt, she wore it at her wedding with the wedding dress. So I'm curious, when you win next week, are you going to wear your belt and, and uh, Ashley wear her belt at the wedding? I'm going to wear it everywhere I can wear it. Anywhere I go, I'm going to have it on. I, I might just sleep, on, sleep with it on. I, and I did, uh, that's a great idea to wear it to the wedding. I think when me and Ashley get married, I might have it on too. There you go. Yeah, that, that would be awesome. You know, I always tell this story. Tim Sylvia used to wear the belt literally everywhere, you know, that, that he went. So we had him throw out uh, the first pitch at a Dodger game. And he starts walking to the mound. I'm like, Tim, what's wrong with you? And he looked at me. I go, put the belt on. So he put the belt on, and then, of course, he got blasted because it's Tim Sylvia. But, yeah, he, <laughs> he even wore it when he threw out the first pitch. So with next Friday being a title fight, is that something that you, you need to block out, you know, that it's for a title? Or is that not that you need more motivation, but is that something to push it to the next level? To, give me your thought process on that. Yeah, you know what? That helps me push it to the next level. Um Either way, it's a it's a fight, you know what I mean. Whether for a belt or not, it, it we're we're going for the same objective. We're going to win. So, uh, you know, the, with the belt on the line, it just makes it that much more. And I, I look forward to it, man. You know, I get a sec- I get another opportunity at going for this belt, and uh, and I know this time I'm going to come out victorious. Does it add more that it's in your backyard? You know, family will be there. I'll get to see your mom again, and you know, does that add to it, or does that add more pressure to it? You know what? Um, I, I I love that it's in my backyard. Um, it's also it's also my opponent's backyard too. So I, I'll get uh, I'll get as many boos as I'll get uh, you know cheering. So it, it's gonna be a great fight, man. You know it, it's 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 awesome that it's in my hometown. You know I always bring the crowd. Everybody comes to show support. And now that it's a title fight, I think I'm gonna have double the double the people there. We're gonna blow the roof off the Hard Rock. But I also know you well enough, and I'm the same thing. I love the boos more than I love the cheers. Hundred percent. I agree with you. Yeah, I, I actually, I, I don't, I don't mind the boos at all. I think uh, that that actually, that actually makes that adds less pressure on me than than having the crowd, the, the crowd there for me. Uh, really? So, like, I mean, your last fight, you you had to come through some adversity. Uh, you came back and won an amazing fight. Um, you know, Richie looked good in his last fight. I mean, what what did you take away from there and, and seeing his technique? I mean, his range. Like, what what if you going to change in this fight going forward? You know what? Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, no, Richie's a, a, a long rangey guy. Uh, he's a dangerous fighter. He's come back from adversity in uh, in many of his fights, not only in fights but in life itself. So he's a very tough guy. Uh, so I, I think it's going to be a, a great fight, man. I'm looking forward to to fighting him. I, I've definitely changed a couple things. I got a couple game plans, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put that on the air just yet. You guys will see it in the fight. Well, yeah, you don't put it out on the air at all. Trust me, I know people. I know people that listen to shows for obvious reasons. Um, what is fight day like? You know, do you, do you try to have the same schedule that that you normally have? Will you do something different? You know, come uh, fight day. And and what about when you get to the arena? Is there certain times? Is there? You know, just talk us through what what that day is going to be like. So, so fight day for me is a, a usual day, man. I, I you know, um, since the fights, I always train in the morning. So since the fights at night, I'll probably I'll sleep in, get a, a good breakfast, you know, a good lunch, and I'm um, the co-main event. So I'll probably get to get to the arena a little later than everybody else. And uh, once I get there, I uh, I kind of relax for a little bit until the show starts. Once the fights start coming out, then uh, I like to I like to warm up a little bit and just uh, every fight that comes out, I just stay on my toes, warm up a little bit, and then uh, up until maybe two fights before mine, then I get really warm. I like to get a sweat going before I get onto the ring. And uh, and by the time you know it, you know, BKFC, the, the fights are fast, so by the time you know it, they're calling your name and it's showtime. 
DJ Tony just walked up, so I'm sure I I know what he wants me to say. Have you sent your music into him? Oh, That's my guy, <laughs> man. We we actually spoke yesterday. I I sent my music to him yesterday. I'm excited about the music I'm walking out to. It's a really motivational thing I've been listening to for years, and it actually popped up in my playlist yesterday. And I go, you know what? This is what I'm walking out to, and I text Tony immediately and I sent it to him. What goes into selecting that? Is it just at the right time you hear a certain thing, or do you do you put a lot of thought into it? I know that it's got to be the right music as you're walking into a fist fight. Yeah, I always uh, I like to I like to use something that hypes me up, that, that you know that wakes me up and puts me in the mood. Um, I usually go with older songs, or, or a lot of I always go with Miami things. I always go with Pitbull music or Trick Daddy music, which is a hometown you know crowd favorite. But uh, this time I'm going some, with some different. This is uh, some motivational things that I use. And it's more of a guy, uh, it's a guy actually talking to a football team, giving him motivation. And it, and it hypes me up, man. So uh, that's when, when I step out and that, that, that comes on, it, it'll put me right where I need to be. See, I think at, at some point you need to come out with something like something really slow and like he doesn't send me flowers or whatever that that country song is. Just not only to put the crowd asleep, but your opponent asleep, and then you can put <laughs> put him asleep right away. That's and, why that's why he's not in charge of music, uh, Yuli. Uh, we we have an expert yeah. in DJ Tony. <laughs> You're in safe hands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna come out with uh, I'm gonna come out with that George Michael careless whisper. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, th- that is perfect. So where are we going to go eat uh, on, on Saturday after the fight? I'm already oh, thinking man, about Randy, food. Then. Randy, you, you read my mind. You know me, man. As soon as the fight's over, I love to have some good food. I would love for you to come out with me, man. We're going to go have some pasta. All right, there you go. That, that, that'll definitely work. Yuli, as always, I love getting you on. Uh, we just wanted to touch base as uh, a big week for you next week. So uh, enjoy the process. You've done this before. And uh, we will see you. Where, where, don't, don't, Julie, don't you have a food truck? Can't we eat at your food truck? Absolutely. I got Knuckle Sandwich 305. Yeah, but I have it closed till uh, probably about a week after the fight. I, I, I'm closed down, so we've got a week after oh. the fight. But, yeah, you can check me out. Knuckle Sandwich 305. Yeah. Don't Blink Podcast. And, guys, next Friday, June 24th, BKFC 26. For those guys that re- don't remember the number, I'll be fighting Francisco <laughs> Richie for the 175-pound <laughs> belt. Looking forward to that. Uh, Randy, thank you so much for the opportunity, man. I appreciate you guys so much. Oh, always. But, you know, I just thought of something. You know, I've been trying to get on Survivor. I've been trying to get on The Amazing Race. (laughs) I want to get on one of these reality shows. So I want to make a proposition to you. If I can get your food truck and you on the Great American Food Truck thing that I watch every week with my wife, I have to be the driver or at least be one of the three people. Listen, that's guaranteed. And I'm you know what? I'm, I'm going to put on some resumes for you for 90 Day Fiance. See what we find out there for you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just so happens. All the TLC shows. You know, uh, Sunday was my 40th wedding anniversary, so my wife wow. may let me go. <laughs> uh, well, congratulations to you guys on that. It's an amazing treat, man. Thank you. Awesome. That's I awesome. appreciate it. You, you, Lee, as always, I love you, man. I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you next week. Uh, Love you too, brother. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Randy. Thanks, guys. Right, take care. Yuli Diaz is without a doubt the, man. the best. He is so cool. Knuckle Sandwich is a great name for a, a food truck. That's awesome. And I think the, the meaning for that is if you don't buy two, you're going to get a Knuckle Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go hit a break. Coming to you live from Tournament de Pizza. This is Knockout Radio, brought to you by Eight Man Strong and Stapsum. We'll be right back.